Hi everyone. Harley's Lowrider S has the 117C engine, a whopping 1,923 cubic centimeters of displacement. In there, 105 horses pound away and deliver a torque of 168 newton meters at 3,500 revolutions per minute. So much for the figures. You should have ridden this chariot to agree with our boss Andreas, who simply calls it a lot of powder. It's probably no coincidence that it also starts with P, as in performance, which stands for the current renaissance of club style, where it's not just about having lots of power, but also a chassis that lets you dance over the asphalt. Harley's Dino was once responsible for the club style with its classic two-sided swing arm and the two linked suspension struts. Since the company no longer has any Dynas in its range, the Lowrider S and Lowrider ST offer the perfect basis for club style performance bikes. It's not just a question of taste as to whether you prefer the massive, frame-mounted FXRT style fairing or the sporty handlebar shell of the Lowrider S. It's also a question of your style. The version with a lightweight shell and without a case is of course the sportier one, and so we have designed the Lowrider S in RTRP Pro version to be even sportier. The upside down fork is not only DLC coated, which stands for diamond like carbon and certainly delivers the best gliding and response behavior currently available. It also has a larger axle clamp and, above all, accommodates the radial brakes for our 340mm brake discs. They now decelerate a 21 inch GT wheel at the front. Incidentally, we also supply all milled chassis parts in anodized gold tones, the elegance of which provides a fascinating counterpoint to the sporty appearance. Chico's pinstriping in the paintwork has set the appropriate accents, which are not obtrusive, but still a real eye-catcher. The triple clamps come from our Pro Performance line, as already mentioned in gold. Milled from the solid, of course. Above the Mar 7 inch club style risers, hollow for internal cable routing, and our new butted handlebars called Club. Everything for better handling, but also for a confident posture. The step up seat guarantees that you won't fly off the saddle if you jump the clutch. And now to the highlight of the rear end, it is once again unmistakably our pro performance swing arm. Milled from a solid piece, and above all with deep rear milling on the inside, and therefore lighter than the original. This swing arm also has the brake anchor mounted under the axle for our large format radial brakes. This may not seem so important at the rear, but it is. Andreas knows that Harley riders like to brake at the rear. Everything has to be just right there too, especially the performance. The Dream of Anarchy The hype of the cult series Sons of Anarchy was probably the decisive impulse for the revival of the FXR scene in the USA. A bike, which until then had been rather marginal in the Harley community, experienced a kind of renaissance through the television series. Reason enough for the company a few years ago with the still Dynalo Rider S an emerging movement to give a suitable bike to hand. And also the custom scene was brought by this new era in restlessness, a mix of maximum street performance and wild stunts gives the big hole completely new impetus. The customizers in the US discovered then also very quickly the FXRT for themselves and put with cases and fairings once again impressive custom bikes. More than enough reason for us to subject the low rider ST also a thorough thunder bike cure. The finest digger wheels in 21 inches at the front and 18 inches at the rear in shiny black with a checkered rim flange, matching floating brake discs and Metzler Cruise Tech tires give the bike not only a strong appearance, but also the necessary performance on their way. A Jekyll and Hyde 21 exhaust system in black provides the sound that matches the sporty look. 
Our footrest suspension and the saddle men step up seat provide the typical HD relaxed seating position. The design of the new massive club style risers with integrated speedometer and cable grommet fits perfectly to the overall appearance of the new low rider and are available in 7 inches and 9 inches. For the paint job we could win master Chris of Chico Spin Striping, he has brought the whole project stylistically confident with his signature to the point. The conversion of my low rider ST has been an exciting adventure that has now closed a great chapter with the completion of the bike. Countless hours and moments of customizing with the guys and gals at Thunderbike, bringing ideas to life and breaking new ground to turn the bald zomobile into a true neck breaker. With the new gold digger wheels in 21 inches front and 18 inches rear, as well as the 9 inches club style risers from us, my bike gets a damn cool look. Jimmy's handcrafted leather saddle from Spirit Leather complements these two highlights and gives the bike a new, imposing line. The seat is not only comfortable, but also keeps the rider in the correct position on the bike. Chico's custom paint job, which gives the bike a soft West Coast club style, completes the overall look and makes it unmistakable. Together, the result for me is a new style that Jimmy and I have christened Jura style. Another chapter in our lowrider custom era has begun. The current fervor in the Harley scene is all about performance and that's exactly where we started with this project. Having recently extensively converted several ST models, it was now time to take the lowrider S a significant step further. We have redesigned the lowrider S from the ground up and spared no effort in the process. We focused on maximum performance for all new parts. Minimal weight with high strength and a super sporty design were the requirements. The first step was to create new triple clamps, which we milled from aluminium blocks. After production, these were anodized gold and then refined once again in our milling machines with a bicolor design. In addition, we have designed new lower fork sections that can now accommodate radial brake calipers. These mounts were also milled from solid aluminium and given a gold anodized finish. The stanchions have been DLC coated to improve responsiveness and the diameter of the brake discs has been increased to 340mm to underline the overall performance. Our pullback risers with speed amount were specially developed for the current low ride OS and fit perfectly with the new triple clamps. Together with the butted aluminium handlebars, which have also been newly developed, this setup gives the low ride OS a typical club style character. 
In addition to the new front end, the GT wheels are another feature. The larger rim diameter is the most striking change to the series. At the rear, the diameter has increased from 16 inches to 18 inches and at the front from 19 inches to 21 inches. These are multi-piece wheels that are manufactured in-house and, like the triple clamps, are elaborately milled. Here too, the design elements are refined with a bicolor design after coating on our milling machines, giving these wheels a three-dimensional look. All Black Club Styler Recently we presented the Glatzer Mobile, the personal bike of our photographer Glatzo, and it is a real club styler. So far we have only shown a few conversions in this style, but more and more conversion requests reach us. Like the Black Rush. The club style goes more in the direction of honest riding. A club style bike needs to be fast and nimble, which can be a challenge for some big twins, but the 117 FXLR ST Low Rider ST handles it very well. We also took a step back and enlarged the Low Rider ST's wheels, but in moderation. The Softail Low Rider ST comes standard with 19 inch wheels up front and 16 inch wheels in back. We fitted it with our spoke wheels in 21 inches front and 18 inches rear and widened the rear from 180 to 200 millimeters. Nothing helps, we are customizers and our work must be recognizable, because since all other body parts remain unchanged, our scope is relatively limited. But the bigger challenge was to keep this bike black. In fact, it should be much blacker. Basically, this is a sign of good taste on the part of the customer, because as the saying goes, you can have any color on a bike as long as it stays black. So all black was the motto, and we dabbed where we thought it was possible and necessary. This even applies to the Jekyll and Hyde 21 system. Many surfaces now show a wrinkled black. From a purely physical point of view, this is even more black because it increases the surface area. Our ancillary components were also in the same basic color scheme as the bikes. And they were particularly important because they give the bike the silhouette that is so important in the absence of colorful accoutrements. We opted for our striking 9-inch club style riser kit in matte black and, most importantly, the Saddleman Step Up LS seat that loves edges. What you might not see is the inside badge, and that's by design. No need to explain. The forward-facing seat, well, that's not typical of club style. But that's what distinguishes a custom bike from a ready-made club style. It could be that our customer likes to ride a little more relaxed, and moving the footrests is the least of our challenges. We act quickly. Performance is the order of the day again. The diggers are now also trusted to do this and the club stylers always have been. Last season was a hot one. The bagger racers had also arrived in Germany and made the rounds on three racetracks. A new trend also emerged, club style. The transitions between the bagger style and the club style are fluid, and we'll explain the differences in a moment. They both have one thing in common, performance. Club style is said to have been invented by rockers. That's why it's called club style. Instead of long forked choppers, the clubs needed fast bikes in order to ride off the increasing number of chapters and, above all, to get away from the cops chasing them. That's why a club style bike is not only fast, but can also corner. Recently, the baggers have been able to do both since they have also been driven through races. Let's get down to business. Our Pro Performance SD Club Styler presented at the Custom Bike Show is inspired by the bagger races. If color could make you fast, it would probably be this one. Our thanks once again go to Ingo Cruiser from Cruiser Design, our in-house painter, who has implemented the racing theme so aptly. However, the Pro Performance ST is all the more a real club styler. 
A racing bagger would still have crash bars, i.e. trimmed crash bars. That's only for the racetrack. An old school bagger would also have a huge front wheel and an ape hanger. Our Pro Performance SD doesn't have that. We make do with a 21 inch new digger front wheel, still bigger than the 19 inch original, and of course from our own factory. Instead of an ape hanger, we have a brand new club style handlebar, which is also called club. The club is butted, making it narrower at the grips and therefore lighter. The production with simultaneous cranking is quite complicated, but we can do it. It has only a slight offset and sits on 9 inch risers, which are hollow so that cables can be routed through them, and to save weight. All this makes our bike more maneuverable. And just before the bend, you can go for it. We have given the fork larger feet so that it can accommodate the huge 340mm diameter brake discs and the brake calipers can grip them better. This is performance that we are proud of. That's why we want you to see it clearly. Hidden under the panniers is a new Pro Performance swing arm, milled from solid material and lighter than the original. This swing arm also has a newly arranged brake caliper mount. Even with panniers, you can see them clearly because they are mounted underneath the swing arm. We have nothing to be ashamed of when it comes to performance. And after one look at it at the latest, the connoisseur knows that this club styler has a Thunderbike swing arm. The Pro Performance triple clamp should not be hidden away either. It also comes from us, is also milled from solid material and therefore lighter, but okay, it doesn't catch the eye under the huge fairing. At least you have something to talk about, because to make the talk among your buddies exciting, you always have to reveal something that doesn't immediately catch the eye. However, the buddies will probably figure out for themselves that something has been done to the fork. At the latest when they see the DLC coated sliding tubes close to the fork legs. DLC stands for diamond like carbon and is currently the highest quality coating to achieve perfect gliding and response behavior. Do we need to talk about other club style features, such as the deep molded step up saddle for better grip and the two in one silencer from Jekyll and Hyde? Yes, we have to, because a two in one system is the most typical feature of a modern club styler. One silencer weighs less than two, and Harley Davidson has probably not yet understood that with the two pipes on the same side of the standard low rider ST base. But that's what we're here for, as customizers. We do things better. We deliver what customers want in the coming and hopefully no less hot season, performance. Thanks for watching.